Okay, now I've been mentioning on LinkedIn here uh, an APHIS on an iPod, so what I'm doing is just going to do a short video here for everybody so that they can actually see what I'm talking about. Okay, so let's get with it. All right, first off, uh, I guess you could call this a light version <laughs> because of its size, obviously. Uh, you know, you have your cards list here and, and your people and you go in here and you enter all your data and everything. You know, typical. I mean, all you APHIS operators and people that know APHIS realize this. Now, what we're going to do is we'll just do a search and we'll open us up a print here. And I've got a, a latent here. I, I just uh, had to take out the background noise, and, but it is a good latent. As you, I'm sure you can see. <laughs> okay, what we do is we pick the choose button on it and what that's actually going to do is it's going to auto mark the fingerprint. Now, typically it's, it's you know, it's fast but uh, testing, uh, our testing process right now, is, you know, we're just trying to ascertain all the times on everything. Uh, so far, it's uh, it's really good. We're really impressed with it. Now, just something I'll point out here on the bottom, and this again is for you APHIS operators. You see 360 degree search. Okay, that button gives us an invariance of 360 degrees. That means that our algorithm searches 360 degrees, so you can put the print in upside down and you're still going to find it. It's a nice little feature. So we'll go ahead and search, and what it does is it, it'll bring up the best matches, and the uh, you're able to put in how many matches you want to see on this one also. Okay, and we'll take a look here at the top, and as you'll see, that is a matching fingerprint from the database. But, uh, you know, I hope this takes care of some of the questions you folks had on LinkedIn. Yes we can put an APHIS on an iPod. Thank you.